What's up? This is Elric Ong, and today I'm here with Anthony Ortiz, an award-winning inventor and entrepreneur who holds over 10 patents. He's a two-time CEO who scaled his first company to millions in revenue and now runs a second valued at over 15 million. His beat features in Shark Tank, Forbes, Good Morning America, Times of London, and many others. His latest invention, Smart Plate, is the world's easiest, fastest, and most accurate food tracker on the planet. Welcome to the show, Anthony. Thank you, Alan. Uh, maybe you can share with us your entrepreneurship journey. How do you get started? And um, yeah, let's just take it from there. Yeah, man. So look, uh, first and foremost, I'm an inventor. And so as an inventor, you get all these crazy ideas and you need people to fund them. So I, I said, oh my gosh, you know, someone's got to fund my ideas. I've got great ideas, but how do I get access to capital? So when I realized that I was an artist and creator first, not a business person or entrepreneur, I moved to Wall Street and I moved to New York City. Uh, that's where I'm from originally, but I, I ended up moving back there in my in my 20s, early 20s, and I became a uh, I became a municipal and corporate bonds broker and then a mortgage broker. And so I was following the money to help fund my ideas. And in 2009, I started my first uh, my first company called Eco Express, which I grew to a 30 person team. I sold it 18 months later, did millions in revenue, and. Um, and then in 2000, around that time, I had almost lost my, my dad to heart disease, to triple bypass surgery. And while I'm sitting in the lobby praying for his recovery, because it's such a dangerous surgery, after I was done praying in the lobby, I opened the book that I was reading and the first line that I read, it said, and I'm paraphrasing, no one ever has to die from heart disease or stroke. It is a man-made disease. And I thought, oh my gosh, this was a book called The China Study by Dr. T. Colin Campbell. Mm -hmm. And I realized how educated I was because I thought that lifestyle diseases are inherent, they're genetic. So if your dad has heart disease, then your mom, you would have it or your, your other uh, siblings are likely to have it. And so I realized how uneducated I was and that there were millions of people who were just as uneducated. So from that moment on, I was on a mission to bring nutritional awareness into every kitchen with Smart Plate. I see. And and what, what what's your first business like? What do you do? And how was the sale, the exit like? Yeah. Yeah. So my first my first real business was uh, so I actually started a mixed tape business. I was selling mis mixed tapes in the mall when I was like sixteen years old. That was actually my first real business. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you remember when mixed tapes and mixed CDs were the thing, right? So mm -hmm. I, I got a little rental place in the mall near my house and I was 16 years old with a mixed tape place. And, you know, I was crushing it. I was doing several thousand dollars a month and for a 16 year old kid, that was amazing, right? But I made my first profit when I was 12. I used to sell skateboard parts by pieces in Dominican Republic. So my dad used to travel to the US and I realized in Dominican Republic, my friends couldn't have access to these skateboard parts, these wheels, the trucks, independent trucks, um, these uh, Veriflex rails. And so I used to have my dad bring these from the US and ship them to me when he would come back. And, uh, and I would sell them by parts and pieces to some of my, 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 uh, my, you know, my fellow students. Um, so I made my first profit when I was 12, had my first business when I was 16. But my first real business, I call it the real business, because this was when I was, you know, actually understanding inputs and outputs and managing a cash flow operation was was my logistics company. And I, I generated about a million dollars in revenue it, between month six and nine. And um, and then we did several million dollars. And about at 18 months, I sold it. Uh, I built it to a 30 person team, uh, had about 10 Fortune 1000 companies like Sims Metal Management. Uh, America Chung Nam, which is the largest exporter in the United States. So I focused on recycled materials and goods. Um, and But I realized that in that business, there was only so much that I can scale and I needed to mm -hmm. use factoring dollars to, to finance my receivables because I had mm -hmm. to pay my drivers every week. And so I had a cash flow problem in that business. So I had to sell it to someone who was better capitalized than me. And so, you know, what's funny, Alaric, that, and this is why I can't wait for the banking industry to be disrupted completely because I was, here I was six months in 
depositing almost, you know, a little over $100,000 a month in Bank of America. They're mm -hmm. seeing my deposit. And I'm saying yeah. to Bank of America, give me a loan. I've got a business. I'm almost doing a million in revenue, right? And I need you guys to help me finance my receivables. And because I wasn't two years in business, I couldn't qualify for a loan. <laughs> so it was just unbelievable. So there's something really wrong with our banking system here and how they don't embrace the entrepreneurs. Um, and that's when I learned about angel investors and VCs and technology. And I said, you know what, my next business is going to be in tech and I'm not going to rely on banks to fund my ideas and things like that. So that's how I became a tech entrepreneur. So when you exited your company, like how many X, like if you, if you don't mind sharing some numbers, how many times, um, EBITDA yeah, or... so it was, a private, it was a private sale, but it was, uh, it was in the seven figures. I see. That's I see. all I can say. And, and will you say that, um, exit, will you say it's better to run a business or it's better to sell a business? Because like there's some people who, who like, like, like to buy, build and sell a business. There's some people who like to run the business. Which one do you think is like, I mean, right now you are running a business and you've sold a business before. Which one do you think you enjoy better or is, is, is something you enjoy more? Yeah. Oh, I, I enjoy both. So I enjoy the beginning of getting the business and, and building the engine of the business. I enjoy the ideation, conceptualization, and bringing an idea to market. I think that that excites me a lot. It's like an engineer building an engine and then Same hitting sense. the start button to see if it works. I love that, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I really love from creation and then bringing it all the way out. I, 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 that fascinates me. But I also enjoy operating uh, to a certain extent. I love the growth of it. I love figuring out how do we, I love the excitement of the launch and getting to product market fit. And, um, mm -hmm. and you know, to be honest, I haven't scaled a business to hundreds of millions in revenue yet. So I haven't mm -hmm. been the CEO that takes, but I'm excited to experience that. So I'm ready for that challenge. So I'm, I'm the kind of guy that learns on demand and I love learning. So I wanna take this company to multi billions of dollars. I mean, look, we have an opportunity with SmartPlate um, mm -hmm. because we have sounder fundamentals in most of the companies that have reached billion market, uh, market caps. Um, you know, for example, Peloton is worth 18 billion today, but Peloton can't reverse diabetes or pre-diabetes or anything like that. So we have an opportunity mm -hmm. to actually do that with SmartPlate and we'll get into what SmartPlate actually is for your audience. Yeah. And so I'm really excited because we're building something that's affordable to everyone that is, mm -hmm. uh, that, that has really sound fundamentals and can help change. It's going to be a game changer in the nutrition world. Mm. So, so what's smart plate about? Maybe you can share with everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. So smart plate is the world's first easiest, fastest, and most accurate food tracker that's ever been invented. So if you've ever used a manual calorie counting application, you know, they suck. They are time consuming. They're tedious. They're mm -hmm. frustrating. But the worst part of it is that they're so inaccurate. They're inaccurate on average by 40% because they don't have scale. So they're not weighing the food. So when you use mm -hmm. one of these trackers, if you're not putting your food on a digital scale, you're, you're off by almost 40% at every time. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we, is we created a product that has three scales one two three scales wow. okay this is the base okay. powered by two double a batteries okay and what you do is you put your you put your three you, your three separate foods in the three trays and they're weighed wow. so you, they, they touch the individually so now you can weigh your protein carbs and fats at every meal with up to 99 percent accuracy it mm -hmm. we use artificial intelligence identify the food so now we're recognizing three separate foods at once in less than five seconds and we're weighing it right now you also can use it at a restaurant without the device you can go to a restaurant we leverage 90 percent of all major u.s restaurant chains we're going to be dominating all over the world as well in in the next mm -hmm. uh, you'll see that you'll see us uh, throughout the u.s in the next 12 18 months and then sorry throughout the uk as well and so you know, we figured out a way to capture the customer journey for when you're eating at home, when you're on the go, if you scan a barcode, if you, you know, uh, need to do a manual search. Um, and so now we've got a bunch of Olympians, athletes, sports clubs that are reaching out to us and, and more importantly, coaches. So every coach that sees this 
if they're a nutrition coach, a sports coach, or a gym owner, they're reaching out to us to partner with us on our mm-hmm. platform because we are automating this for them and creating a platform where they can monitor their clients and, and increase the compliance and generate more money. So, so basically, it's, it's, it's really it, cool. It separates I mean, it costs- um, the protein. So, so how, how does it work? Like, if, let's say if the protein is together with the veggie, like, you know, in some food, the protein is mixed with the veggie, which is mixed with the cups. How do you separate that? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. And I love that. You see, you can't do that when you weigh it on a, di- on a if you use a digital scale and you're weighing one food at a time, all yeah. foods pretty much have, have a mixture of these macros. With Smart Plate, right. when you put the macros together, protein, carbs, and fats, we are helping you. We understand the combination of all of it collectively. So we tell you what to remove from what section, and it's very precise for that same reason that you just mentioned. So that's a really okay. good question. Does that make sense? Right? No. Do you, okay. Do you understand that? Can you explain a little bit further? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, so look, uh, so when you use our device, let's say that you have chicken nuggets that have carbohydrates and they have protein, right? But you put nuggets, it has mainly protein, but it, de- but it has some carbohydrates, right? So, so the same thing now you have, you, you put uh, broccoli on one side and you have something else that has protein and carbohydrates. We will tell you exactly what to remove from both areas so that, okay. because we understand that they have the combination of both, right? In each yeah. section. So collectively, yeah. we will tell you what to remove so that collectively you get the right macronutrients at every meal. If you were to weigh your food individually in a separate scale, or use yeah. one of these other apps, they, they don't, they're not able to do that because they're not seeing the food as a whole. They're seeing one food individually. Does that make sense? I see. Yeah, I see. So yeah. how much does one like smart plate or something cost? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really affordable. So uh, we, we're, we're not charging for the hardware in year one. So right now we're waiving for all the people that come in for the first few thousand folks, we are waiving the $99 hardware fee. So uh, we're charging $29 a month and it comes with everything, personalized recipes, meal plans. Um, it comes with you know, everything that you need to be successful. So it, it, you get the hardware device, the weight management program for life. The hardware is yours for life. And uh, it's $348 and you pay that up front for the first year and we waive the $99 fee. So it comes out to $29 a month. If you wanna continue as a subscription the following year, yeah, go ahead. I see. Okay. And, and uh, so how does, um, okay, so sorry, because you were lagging a little bit. Yeah, but anyway, um, so for this device, have you been on Shark Tank and all that before? Like you pitched this device on Shark Tank before or? Shark Tank, yeah, we did. We launched Shark Tank when we first came out. So we did a Kickstarter campaign similar to Peloton. You know, we, we mentioned Peloton a lot because Peloton, and, and we'd love to partner with these guys, we follow the same path. Peloton CEO went on Kickstarter, did 300,000. We went on Kickstarter and did 111,000, but then we went on Indiegogo and did 250,000. So we did a little over Peloton in pre-orders, right? Mm -hmm. And so so then we went on Shark Tank after we had been on Kickstarter, but we were still Mm -hmm. pre-product and pre-revenue. We crushed it on Shark Tank. So many people loved us there. And then we ended up raising several million dollars after the Shark Tank show. So uh, to this day, I see people that see us and say, hey, I saw you guys on Shark Tank um, and it was a great experience. Who knows? Maybe we'll go back on the show. Was there any uh, shark that invested or partnered up with you? No, they missed out on it. They missed out on it. They didn't see. Well, so I, I and I don't blame them, actually. I wouldn't say that they didn't see the vision. Um, I think that we, we were definitely not ready. We were pre-product. We were pre-revenue. And we had an aesthetic prototype. So the demos, the demonstration and everything that you see on our website and the, and, and the product as it is today, like we're now shipping, right? We have sales. We shipped almost a thousand units in the last couple of months, right? So we're, you know, we signed on over 30, no, 50 coaches in the last two weeks. 50 coaches, are, mm-hmm. coaches are signing on, 30, 50 coaches are signing on weekly, right? So, you know, we didn't have those numbers when we went on, on mm-hmm. Shark Tank. So I don't blame at that point, I would not have invested in myself because it was just an idea on a napkin, essentially. 
I see. So if let's say someone wants to get smart plate, where can they head to? Or what, what's the link that they can go and check it out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah awesome. So you can go to getsmartplate.com. Again, that's getsmartplate.com. And you can also use the, you can use Alaric 50 to get $50 Again, that's Alaric50, and you will get $50 off for all of you listeners out there following his awesome podcast. So again, that's right. GetSmartPlate.com and use Alaric50 for a $50 discount. Uh, all right, that's cool, man. So you'll create a coupon code for them. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I just want to say, we are, right now it only works on the iPhone, and you got to be in the United States. So if you're in the U.S. and you have an iPhone, uh, the offer is for you. Right now, we're not shipping outside of the U.S., and we're not shipping to I Android think. users yet. It's coming in the next six months. I see because most of my audience right now is still in, um, in, most of them are in Singapore. So like I run a coaching business. I've got about 1,300 paid clients. They're all in Singapore. Most of my audience is in Singapore. But I mean, you, you'll you probably go international soon, right? No. Yeah, Singapore Sorry? is English speaking, right? Singapore, yeah, Singapore is, is English speaking. And Correct. you know what? We we Singapore because it's, it's, Singapore is like Puerto Rico where I live right now. Because Singapore is like the, Puerto Rico is like the, the middle ground before you go into Latin America. Singapore is like the middle ground before you launch into Asia. So dude, when we launch into <laughs> Asia, I'm gonna talk to you, Alaric, so we can, we can get some stuff going. I've been hit up by coaches. There's, a, there's some gyms out there. I think I've got hit up by a few gym owners from the, the P, P45 gyms, okay? Mm-hmm. They, they've reached out for, in Singapore wanting to partner with us. So, uh, but yeah, we have to, before we go into a country, we need to understand the culture, the foods and things like that. Yeah. Um, so it's a really good experience, but. I think Singapore will be a very good market for you to launch because um, Singaporeans are very health conscious um, and we um, don't mind paying a premium for, okay, I've done five different businesses before. My first business was a healthy food delivery business. So I call it Bullet Express. Oh, nice. I, 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 I named it after Dave Asprey's Bulletproof Diet. I mean, I. I had emails with them asking if I could like use their like recipes and their roadmap to design my my healthy food. So I, I did pretty well as well. My first my first day of launching, okay, we sent it. Uh, we we partnered with a bank and they sent an email to ten thousand three hundred of the staff to to uh advertise for for us to their staff. Yeah, so they sent a, a, an email. This bank had like two buildings, okay. So our first day we had like seventy right. orders, and ninety orders. And one thing I realized is that th- there's a huge demand for healthy food in Singapore. We're selling food like $12 yeah, yeah, yeah. per meal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's no other country in Asia. They see so many like salad shops, so many health health um, shops, so many like, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just a huge demand. Yeah. So definitely you should come to Singapore the moment you want to launch to Asia. Yeah. Yeah, brother, we're there. And you know, Alaric, it's becoming a worldwide uh, conscious awakening, especially after the pandemic, people are realizing how in trouble we are, how diabetes, heart disease, obesity right. is causing people to die from COVID, right? So now you've got this real threat, people are realizing how important your immunity system is. So right. we have a device that can actually, you know, through our first study that we did, we were able to reverse pre-diabetes and early onset type two with our portion control formula. And we're doing mm-hmm. a second study now, hundred subjects, and then we're gonna do a thousand person study. And we're gonna show the world that you can eat a balanced blood sugar diet. And this isn't even just for diabetics, Alaric. If you're a mm-hmm. biohacker and you wanna live longer, you wanna add 10 years to your life. Yeah. What people don't understand is that when you eat a glycemic variable diet, glycemic variability <laughs> means I I eat a lot of carbs, so your blood sugar spikes up, right? Mm -hmm. Then I don't, then I do, right? And so you have this glycemic variability, which then becomes compounded glucose variability. And this thing starts to shorten your telomeres, right? It's like like driving a vehicle in the city. And every time you stop at a red light, you're damaging the brakes. You're using the brakes, right? And so what we want to show people is that it's not just for diabetics. We should all be eating a balanced blood sugar diet, meaning making sure that we eat the right portion of carbs, proteins, and fats at every meal so that we don't have these crashes, highs and lows, and we're going to live longer and prevent disease. So yeah. longevity is gonna be a huge, huge topic point for us. 
Um, this definitely is a biohacking tool for anybody who's out there and wants to improve their performance and the longevity as well. So awesome, brother. Well, listen, I really appreciate you having me. I want to ask you too, what, what kind of coaching do you do? Oh, I, I'm, uh, I coach people on Facebook marketing. Yeah. So that's my, this is my fifth oh, business. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. my mom is an entrepreneur herself. She runs a health and wellness business. So that's why when you say you that during the pandemic, uh, that's when people, you business? she runs a health and wellness business. So she sells like negative ion, fine infrared mattresses, um, called Rev 22. Okay. And basically her revenue shot up in the pandemic. Yeah. Like last month she did a few hundred grand. So, um, yeah, every, every month she's doing a few hundred grand because not, not, so, not so many, she sells because of the she pandemic. Sells, what is she selling? What does she you sell? You know, like some um, mattresses that emit far infrared yeah. and negative ions. Yeah. So it's her own brand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she brings, uh, she manufactures mm. her own products and she sells those. So she sells like pillows. She sells like knee braces for people who have knee problems, eye masks for people who have eye problems, mm. um, oh, t nice. uh, t shirts, nice, nice. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. They call it like energy clothing. And, e yeah. e e she has her own e commerce e website. Um, she mainly does it through retail store, but she has an e-commerce presence as well. Yeah, but her main sales comes yeah. from um doing webinars, doing uh Facebook ads, this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. For me, that I run a cool. hey, I'd yeah. I'd talk to your mom and maybe we can partner with her, and uh, sure. you know, she can use the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is she selling mainly? She's selling in Singapore, but she has always wanted okay. to expand overseas. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Every business owner yeah, yeah, yeah. wants to expect. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I can connect awesome, both man. of you. She's not on Instagram, so I'll probably have to connect you on WhatsApp. But yeah, later, later I'll, I'll send you a contact and everything. You know, at the very least, I always love to learn from, you know, uh, from different entrepreneurs on how they succeeded. At, so I just did my first webinar, to be honest. We had, we had about 40 coaches on our first call. You know, we signed up all of them. We had a 100% sign up ratio. When they saw what we worked on and they saw the platform, you know, they all signed up. So I, I want to, we're trying to, we're going to do these webinars every week, but I'd love to pick your mom's brain about what's oh, working oh, for her okay. on her webinar. Oh, yeah. I, I'm the one who designed her webinar. I don't design her oh, webinar. Yeah. So she's doing about $20,000 do a week just from doing one webinar. Yeah. So um, if you want, I, yeah, after this call, I can, um, I can build a webinar together with you. And then I, like, I could do it. Uh, we, we, we could work out a deal. I could do it for free and then a profit share or some, some kind of deal. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So, so how my mom does it, right, is that she used to do it live. Okay. Every week she'll do a webinar, and she was making twenty thousand dollars in sales every from just doing a sixty minute or ninety about a two hour webinar every week. She make twenty thousand dollars in sales, and then right now I've converted her webinar to an automated webinar that she just that, that happens every fifteen minutes, like twenty four seven. Even when she's sleeping at four a.m. in the morning, people can watch her webinar, nice. and they will just buy nice. directly from the webinar. Yeah. That's what we did. So we recorded this webinar. I, you know what I'll do? I'll send you the recording because yeah. Yeah. it was yeah. our first. I know it can be better, but it was our first webinar. And I think it's good enough, but maybe we do one more where we refine it, make it a little bit better. But it's, it's pretty freaking solid. I mean, you're going to the comments of these people. Amazing, brilliant, mind-blowing. Because see, there's other things that I haven't showed you yet here that we're not talking yeah. about yet. It's for the coach you have to come see it in the webinar. Right. So oh, we're good. automating, we're automating, we're automating their meal plan creations. We're doing things with artificial intelligence that can okay. allow them to grow their business, right? Because they spend a lot of time answering the same questions, designing meal plans, but we're automating all this crap for them. So when they see this, they're like, oh my God. And then eventually we're going to charge the coaches as well. Cause if I can grow a coach's business from 20 to hundred clients to 400 clients, that's that's worth several hundred dollars a month for a coach to Definitely. pay us to. So I want to let, let's talk about that. Let's let's. Yeah, I'd love to get into that with you. And I, I'm gonna be an automated webinar funnel for you. I built it for so many of my clients already. Yeah, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build one for you. Right. But that's why I like. I like. Awesome, uh, awesome. I love social media. You know, like if not for social media, there's no way we would have ever connected. You know, and and the kind of opportunity yeah. that social media opens up, even like Clubhouse, Instagram, um, Facebook. The kind of opportunities that it opens up is, is, is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. I love Clubhouse, dude. I'm <laughs> you know, for my own automated webinar, I'm selling a $500 course 
and every mm-hmm. single day while I'm sleeping, no, 70% of my sales happen when I'm sleeping because when I'm, okay, because right now I'm based in UK and my clients are mainly in Singapore. So when I'm sleeping is when they are awake and 70% of my sales happen when they are, they are, they are awake and uh, I'm enrolling like three clients a day automatically just through this one webinar funnel alone. Yeah. So it definitely works. Yeah. Well, listen, let's, when can we talk about this? Right after let's this. Uh, uh, okay. okay, let's, let's, uh, okay, let's just finish this uh, interview real quick. Uh, okay, let's exactly. Like, okay, like, uh, get to the mix. Let's make some money and wrap this up. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so um, if they want to follow you on social media, how do they follow you? And yeah, if they want to follow you on social media, how do they follow you? Yeah, awesome. So I'm so follow SmartPlate on Instagram. SmartPlate at SmartPlate. And that's spelled S-M-A-R-T-P-L-A-T-E. And then follow me as well at SmartPlate CEO, SmartPlate CEO on Instagram. Um, we don't have a, we, we, we're working on a TikTok and YouTube, but uh, I think our YouTube channel is SmartPlate as well. So just follow SmartPlate everywhere. Just follow SmartPlate CEO. And again, the website is getsmartplate.com. Make sure you use the Alaric 50 to get $50 off if you're in the U.S., and you have an iPhone for now um, and stay tuned. And also on Clubhouse, follow me, Anthony Ortiz on Clubhouse. Sounds good, man. And um, one last thing, what, what's a tip or what are a few tips you would give any entrepreneurs or exp- aspiring entrepreneurs who want to start, start their own business here? Okay, cool. So here's a, I'm going to give you three tips. So number one, if you have an idea, I want you to get two books. One, Zero to one by Peter Thiel, because oh, the yeah. idea that you have likely the idea that you have most likely a thousand people are already doing it and it's not differentiated enough. I see this all the time. So get that book so you understand that you don't need something that's an evolutionary change in difference. You need something that has a revolutionary change in difference. Number two, go into technology. If you have an idea that does not involve technology, you need to go to tech somehow figure it out how either create a business like Alaric where you can digitize monetize and you can make money in your sleep uh if you don't if you're not going into tech i, I you're not going to scale a massive business and the amount of time that it takes to build any business is the same so why not go after the business that can yield the biggest result and that is technology and number three i would say always okay. try to use uh oh, sorry number three, i would say if you're not a tech founder okay don't be afraid of that. Learn the language of technology so that you can recruit a tech founder or you can sell and recruit an engineer to build that first prototype. If you don't have the money to build that first prototype, get a second job, third job, generate about five, five to $10,000 and build a, a what's called an MVP, a minimum viable product. That's the next book I want you to get. It's called, uh, it's called The Lean Startup by Eric Reese. Learn yeah. how to build a that minimum viable so product. You can do this by like, you can do this with like five to 15K and you'll have a minimum viable product. But those are the three steps that I would follow in that order. Make sure you've got a differentiated idea, make sure that it's in tech and make sure that you have at least around 15, five to $15,000 to build an MVP. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Anthony, for um, starting this show. And uh, I'll send you the recording once it's done. And for those of you who are watching, make sure you, um, if you like it, make sure you like it. You comment what are the three learning points you've learned. You subscribe to this YouTube channel and you share uh, this, this video. And also follow Anthony um, at SmartPlate, at SmartPlate CEO and GetSmartPlate.com. I'll see you real soon. Awesome. Thanks, guys.